I just wanted to talk about um, cinema and Netflix and because I've seen this thing in the Cannes Film Festival about uh, funded uh, Netflix films shouldn't be qualifying for you know festival awards because they've not been theatrical or and in general you know people kind of down and streaming um, films should be made for cinema you know I've had many directors saying it in the past between Quentin Tarantino as well but he doesn't watch streaming or whatever Here's my view and you know the way that I used to watch movies when I was a child I would be taken to the cinema to see movies like Star Wars like a lot of his and Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Superman and they were the kind of quality blockbuster movies at the time but it was most of the movies were, were B movies you know B movie disaster movies like Meteor and uh, Earthquake and uh, Tower Inferno and Airport 1975, 76 whatever, 77, Sinbad, Eye of the Tiger, The Land That Time Forgot and a lot of sci-fi so I really kind of crappy B movies but I loved them as a kid. That's when I was in the cinema and a big screen and in a theatre but that wasn't my real education where movies came from. My real education came in the early 80s when I got a VHS video recorder when I got access to movies like, um, which I probably shouldn't have had access to, um, The Godfather and The Deer Hunter and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Easy Rider. I could be here all night rhyming off probably the best hundred movies. Most of the best movies, independent filmmaking and also studio funded filmmaking were movies that I saw on VHS. I didn't see them in the cinema. So my point is that most of the classics that I've seen for Raging Bulls, Taxi Drivers, Main Streets and all those films that I mentioned and many, many, many more came from watching on small screens, VHS and then on DVD. It wasn't seeing this big cinematic film in a cinema. And then when I discovered a lot of those directors and actors that I liked, when I went to live in London, I'd go to independent films and I go to all night screenings at the Scala Cinema in King's Cross, the Ritzy in Brixton seeing Reservoir Dogs. All those directors are going to see their other movies in independent cinemas. But the point is I'm trying to make, to have a snobbery today over Netflix and Amazon Prime and streaming in general doesn't make any sense at all. If it was today, I was the same teenager today watching, then I would be watching Netflix. I'd be watching Amazon Prime, I'd be watching any streaming because they're trying to find interest in movies. And a lot of the directors today, whether you get this, it's, ironically, it's a lot of blockbuster directors, whether it's Quentin Tarantino's or Christopher Nolan's, arguing about whether something be shot on film or video and how everything should be seen in a cinema, because that's the only place that you can experience it. Well, yeah, I loved cinema when I was a kid because I didn't know any different. And if it was noisy and there was people chucking shit everywhere, I didn't give a fuck because I was a kid. When I got a, a, a movie, um, if it's a blockbuster movie, I want to escape into that world from the shithole that I'm living in outside. I don't want to be kept in that world smelling nachos and hearing them getting crunched behind me or hearing people on their phones tweeting and shit like that. It is the worst fucking experience half the time. People say it's a collective experience. I don't see it that way. I think if you're going to see the Rocky Horror Show and you're dressing up in funny clothes and stuff like that, that's different, you know, but when you're going to see a movie that you can't hear, you can't... You know, the cinema was killed for me, apart from independent cinemas, because they're usually hardcore fans of going to see an independent film. Um, the small independents, that's different. And if it's a more event-based thing, you know, then that's really attractive. But in general, the whole snobbery about, you know, is a movie really a movie or does it qualify properly because it's not been in the cinema first? Should it, you know, if it's been produced by streaming companies, it's total, in my view, horseshit because all the best movies and some of the best movies that have been made in history I first saw in VHS and DVD. And so if it was today, I'd probably see them on Netflix. And thank God for, you know, Netflix and Amazon and all these streaming because they'll be coming up with the best serials. They'll be distributing movies that would probably never get the light of day and seen. You know, if we didn't have that, it would be even worse. So I don't think it's right to be downing them. And people say that you shouldn't watch a movie on a, a phone. For me personally, I don't give a shit if somebody watches my movie on a phone. Any audience that I can get, any eyeballs that I can get, I will take. Um, which, at this level that I'm working at the moment, is probably better on a phone because at least it won't spot my continuity problems, you know, when it's, the screen's only this size. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd just put my two cents in there. Um, that's just my view. And I just wanted to talk about my experience of watching movies in the past through film, cinema, BHS, DVD, Netflix, 
and whatever the fuck we're going to watch them in the future because for me I don't want to live in a world in the film industry where it's dusty and it's old and people don't want to evolve and usually the ones that don't want to evolve are usually the ones that are working in the Hollywood system they want to keep it the same way they don't want things to be disrupted they don't think, want things to change the reality is people like watching movies when they want to watch them where they want to watch them when they want to watch them whatever they want to watch them on their laptop the phone the TV whatever the fuck you know and that's good enough for me as long as people are watching stories quirky stories, blockbusters, whatever, whatever you want to watch it, that's what's important to me, you know, in this new world. Anyway, thanks very much for watching.